What's going on guys? Joe here for Gamer Toys and welcome back to another pickup episode. I don't have any mail, you know, like I said in previous videos, I've been holding back on all of the online buying that I was doing before uh, in preparations for these upcoming toy shows. So, so everything I have here I found in the wild. Uh, we got some vintage and some modern. So let's start with the vintage. The duck from Bucky O'Hare. For some reason I'm drawing a complete blank on his name. But I picked him up because he was in slightly better shape. Fuzzy. I grabbed him because he's in better shape than the one that I currently have uh, in my collection. And he's complete and I was still missing one of the guns for mine. So for only a couple dollars I couldn't pass this up. This was a great find that I found in the bottom of a box. I couldn't believe that all four of his guns were still there. Really all I need now is uh, Dogstar's gun and I need Willie's glasses and I'll have a complete set. I'm the kind of guy that whenever I see a vintage Krang, I'm gonna buy it. This was five bucks. The dome, unfortunately one of the tabs has snapped off and it's a little bit yellow, but it still sits on there. It displays fine. You just kind of pop it on there, it works. Uh, Crane is in great shape, beautiful paint still, the eyes are still completely yellow, and then the walker is complete. It has both arms, the hose, the gun, uh, it's just in great shape. You know, for five bucks, all day long, I will buy this for five dollars. This was also all at the same uh, garage sale. On to the modern stuff. Yes, I found another Usagi Yojimbo. Great figure, I don't really need to go into detail because I already have it, but I'm going to do something that I don't normally do on this channel. Stupid twist tie. So like I said before, this figure is awesome. I was so glad to have come across another one that I could open and put on display. Um, I'm thinking, well I'm not really thinking about it, I'm pretty committed now, but I want to have a nice space on a shelf somewhere that is all strictly a Usagi Yojimbo focus. And you can store his swords in there. I think I have them backwards. I think this one goes here. He has a decent grip on the swords in his hands. Heads on a ball joint. You got the shoulders, the elbows, the wrist, uh, the hips, the knees, and the ankle, which is a lot. So he has a lot of movement given the line that he is in because a lot of the figures in the Nick Turtles line aren't as articulated as he is. So this is a great figure. Next up, so I found the Marvel Legends figure from the Netflix series Daredevil, Daredevil himself, Matt Murdock. This figure looks amazing. Let's repeat. This figure is amazing. The color scheme is great. It looks like he was taken right, right out of the TV show. The face sculpt is great. And you know, you say that and it's like, well, all you really see is his mouth. But the mouth looks spot on. Uh, the cowl looks great. I love the eyes. I love the texture of the suit. I love that he has the little uh, pouch thing right there where you can put his weapon in. Um, so you don't have to worry about losing it if you don't want him to pose with it. Tons of movement in this guy. You can pose this guy pretty much however you want. This is a great figure. And uh, he's going to look great with the Punisher figure that I have. And I did see Jessica Jones and Elektra, and I left them there, but I probably will go back and grab those as well. Last but not least, I just happened to stumble by this guy. He was the only one on the peg. Loki in the Marvel Legends line. Let's do it again. Comes with Hulk's foot. Okay, this figure is out of this world. Uh, the cape is removable. The, uh, the helmet headpiece is removable, his iconic horns there. Can we just talk about this face sculpt? This looks just like Tom Hiddleston. He has this kind of separate waist piece, which you probably could remove if you wanted to. It's just an amazing figure. I love the color scheme, I love the blues and the purples, the black hair, the texture of the hair is amazing. It's in a little tied back ponytail. The boots are great. I'm really impressed with the Thor Ragnarok figures. And uh, he is the first one that I've seen. I haven't seen anyone else yet, so I'm on the lookout, but Loki will definitely be going up on the shelf. All right guys, these are my pickups and that's gonna do it for this episode. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.